Well, good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, and today we are going to be going to, or I am going to be going to, the Dallas Zoo. And I'm going with some family members, but I thought I would take you guys along um, for just part of the trip. And um, if you've never been to the Dallas Zoo, it'll be kind of fun and uh, interesting to see what all is there. It's really nice. Um, years ago, when our kids were little, we used to not really go to the Dallas Zoo very much. We always went to the Fort Worth Zoo because it was super nice. And But over the years, they've really um, done a lot to the Dallas Zoo. So it's really nice, just like the Fort Worth Zoo is now. So um, that's where we're going today. It's really gonna get hot, so we're going early and I'm um, gonna have a little picnic out there and everything, but I thought I would um, take you guys along and let you kind of see some of the things that you would see at the Dallas Zoo. I hope you enjoy it. All right, I'll check in with you different times as we're there. So it's a little bit of a drive to get to the zoo. It's not um, like super far, but it's just uh, because of traffic and gonna be going through downtown area and everything um, at rush hour or maybe a little bit after rush hour. So um, we're leaving early so that we can get there before it gets too hot, kind of see most of what we want to see. Um, this is just, during the summer, this is when I like to get together with my family, my nieces and nephews, my um, sister and sister-in-law, um, and we just kind of get out and we do some little outings like this. And we only have one kiddo in the family that's little anymore, all the others are getting on up there into those teen years or even graduating so um, we do have one that's still a, a little uh, well really third to fourth grade so it's not that little anymore but we think it'll still be fun and um, I know my husband and I we actually like to do things like this just the two of us sometimes so even when you don't have little kids um, these are kind of neat outings to do during the summer just to kind of break it up and get out and get some sunshine and do something kind of different. So I'm on my way to meet up with everybody. This part is an aviary and um, we got to watch a bird being fed and then there's just all kinds of birds up in these trees. And there was one back here that just kind of kept walking back and forth. He was very strange and funny, um, but lots of different types of birds. And then there was this gigantic nest. I don't know if birds made it or if they, the zoo people did for them. I don't know, but it was fun. Uh, then we got to go see some elephants. They have a really nice elephant habitat here. It's large. They've got a, like a, a man-made river and lots of things to move around. And they really seem to like that area. So there's just another view with some things in the background. And we got to feed a giraffe. 
So I'll show you that. Here I'm feeding the giraffe. Look how cute he is. I wanted to pet him so bad, but they said, no, you can't touch the giraffes, just feed them. So he was very gentle and uh, just came right up to us. This is a restaurant they have on site and it's air conditioned. I didn't get a lot of video inside because there was a daycare or something there, but you can see the lions right through these floor to ceiling windows. It's a really neat view. It's called the Serengeti Grill. So we found, we had this uh, picnic area and um, they actually do music concerts here and everything. And again, I was trying not to show, um, they had like a day camp with a bunch of kids. I was trying not to show all of those kids. So, but there was picnic tables. And then we saw these cute little otters. They were just so fun to watch. You can see them kind of playing and bit later here you'll see they kind of wrestle around in the water they're just so funny and cute that looked pretty inviting on a day like today it was very hot so it was a good day to be an otter <laughs> there they go look how cute we went to the reptile uh, building and this little guy here we, he was quite active today I don't know what his deal was, but he was interested in everybody that walked by. I cannot remember what kind of snake this was, but it was huge. It was the whole length of the enclosure, and it was massive. So it got a big nope from me. One of the neat things here is you can see some of the types of animals uh, that they have conservation efforts to try to help repopulate them. And so here's just a sign talking about that. And then here are a couple of turtles. This fella here today was not happy with his bowl for some reason. And this is the children's zoo area. It's really cool. Um, there were some areas that they have activities normally, and those were closed today, and I'm guessing maybe because of staffing issues or whatever, but there was still plenty to do. It's a good area to go to to cool off. They have this whole little um, man-made river thing there. It's very shallow and... It's a good place to just take your shoes off and wait around and kind of cool off. And I did that, that very thing, and um, it was quite refreshing. So you can kind of see a view of it there. Yes, it felt wonderful. It wasn't freezing cold and it wasn't, you know, hot like bath water. It was just right. So it helped to kind of cool things down on a very hot summer day in Texas. This was also in the children's area, these beautiful koi, and um, 
they're just so relaxing. And I like how they have this area where you can actually watch them underwater, too, instead of just seeing it from the top. These were uh, kind of like shaded, shading things. I don't know how to call them. Um, and then to end things today, we actually rode the carousel. There's a beautiful old carousel here at the Dallas Zoo. And it was a good day to do that. Have a nice breeze as you go around. And it was a lot of fun. Kind of takes you back to childhood. It was really neat. And um, they, they maintain it pretty well. There I am. <laughs> I'll show y'all what I rode in just a second. There's all kinds of animals on here, not just horses, obviously. That is what I rode, a wolf. <laughs> that was a hummingbird in front of me. There's a rhino. So there's lots of cool things on this uh, carousel. You can see a better view here. Pretty fun. And that's pretty much how we ended our trip today. It was a very, very hot day. I love the heat, so it didn't bother me so much, but I was pretty worn out when I got home. I took about a two hour nap, so that concludes our trip. So that's it. We had a wonderful day here at the zoo. It's about uh, a little bit after one o'clock. So we got here about 9.30, I guess. And um, it wasn't too bad heat wise because there was a lot of shaded areas. I hope you can tell that from the video. And uh, we went in some of the air conditioned little places um, as we kind of went along. So that helped out a little bit too and cooled off in the water area at the kids part, the kids zoo. So uh, some of the stuff that was not open today, uh, there were a few things in the kids area that they used to have open that um, were little indoor activities the kids could go to. I don't know if it was because of staffing or what, but those were not open today. And, um, but almost everything else, I didn't see the, there's a monorail and that didn't seem like that was running today either, but um, everything else looked, you know, like it was running along pretty good. So now I am headed home and uh, going to probably have a nice little afternoon nap. And I'm sure Josie will be excited about that because she likes to get up there and nap with me in the recliner. So thanks for tagging along with me. And if you've never been to the Dallas Zoo, I hope you'll check it out if you're nearby. But it's actually really nice. and. Um, of course, I wasn't able to, you know, video all the neat stuff, but this will give you a little taste of what it offers. All right. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.